What's up guys? Uh, we're about to take another U-turn when it comes to uh, picking these uh, games to play. Uh, first off I wanted to do Hyrule Warriors, that was a fucking train wreck with the uh, frame, rate is frame rate issues. And then I decided, okay, let's play some uh, PS1 classics. And it turns out I need a, H uh, a composite to HDMI converter to get a, a more sharper uh, quality, more better image. I could carry on the way that uh, Crash Bandicoot 1 is, which is it's bearable, to be honest. But to be honest, I'd rather, I'd rather not shortchange you or give whoever decide, whoever's interested in my videos like a sloppy a sloppy performance like sloppy visuals I'd rather it be the best so until I can get one of those converter things I'm I'm now switching over to uh, the PS2 I've got my PS2 console sitting underneath the PS1 console so and we've got the uh, component cable from the PS3 and the PS2 so it might bump up the uh, uh, image uh, the quality a little bit it probably won't do anything but anyway so yeah let's get this started we're going to be playing a uh, uh, clone hour 2 for the ps2 lunatis veil vale. and uh, i've only ever played this a little bit i, I remember rent renting it way back when it come out and i never i never finished it actually i got quite far into it and i was playing it this morning and i thought oh i've got to finish this game before i fucking die so <laughs> We're gonna start at the beginning, and uh, let's do this. Let's do this. And hopefully, by the time I finish this this let's play of this game, I'll, I'll have one of those converters, and we'll go back to the uh, PS1 uh, classics, which is the Crash Bandicoot series, Spyro the Dragon, Spot Goes to Hollywood, Ape Escape, uh, Pandemonium. Is it gonna start or not? Oh, there we go. I thought it crashed in. <laughs> I thought, oh no. Been sitting here waffling for a couple of minutes and then it all, all goes to trash. So we're gonna pick 50 hertz. It's the safest way for me. Uh, Namco, produced by Namco. And now this, the, the Klonoa series, it, it frustrates me that they haven't uh, made a third one of this game or. Hang on. Rather loud on my end, that he's burst my eardrums. But it frustrates me that they haven't made another Klonoa game. It didn't take off as well as it as it probably should have. The main series here, it, it stopped here at number two. Then it then it then Klonoa went all handheld. Right, new game. See, that's where I got to the forgotten path. So we're going to go on uh, the third one. Right, we'll go with my YouTube name. But yeah, this is a, it's a good game. I like the Klonoa series. See, I've got through my headphones. The sound is a bit too loud for me. I can I can't concentrate on what I'm saying. I can't hear myself think. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Uh, four minutes into the video, and we haven't got the game rolling yet. But yeah, I hope you uh, you enjoy the uh, the playthrough and stick around. It seems that for my let's plays, part one gets a, a nice amount of views and then after that it just got no one's interested in part two and onwards just, I don't get it am I that shit <laughs> am I that shit to listen to and uh, I'm not sure if this game carries on from the first one I can't remember how the first one ended I know that uh, Hupo in the ring I know they had to separate because the dream was over it was all a dream the first one I'm not sure how it ties into this one. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Dude. 
help. Help me. Help me. But yeah, they they went with, with a different uh, visual here. They went with the shell, the cell, the sh cell shaded uh, artwork style. But yeah, let me know if the quality of of the game is is good enough. If not, I'll have to take another U-turn and go back to your, go back to the Assassin's Creed series or something on the Wii U. There he is. Yes, without a doubt, he's the one. You don't need me to read the text there, you can read it. But yeah, this is a good game. It can be really challenging as well later on, like the platforming and the puzzle solving. <sighs> I was playing it this morning and I thought, fucking hell. <laughs> Fingers crossed that I can actually finish it. Are you alright? <sighs> yeah, at least. I think so. Thank goodness. I'm Lolo. I'm a priestess. Well, a priestess in training. And this is Popka. Yo! You're the ones who saved me, huh? Thanks. I'm Klanoa. Oh, Klanoa. So, Klanoa? Is this the name of the dream traveler? Hold on there. I'm just. Watch out! Just great. Monsters here too. Mm. Maybe we should wait until later to talk. Huh? Who me? Lolo. Lolo. Laugh out loud. And for some reason the screen's like zoomed in. So for me, I can't see like the top and bottom of the screen like a little bit. Let's get this show on the road. Huh? What? What's the... What the... What the fuck is going on? What island? Yeah, I can see it on the Elgato screen. <laughs> Actually, the bottom of the screen. Where am I? Anyway. Okay. We're in control. So as you can see, it looks a lot different than the first Final game, if you've played that one before. But the mechanics of the way the game plays is still the same. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't like it when uh, the developers change the style of play. I, I like the first Final art, art style. I mean, this one, he looks like, like a Paper Mario sort of thing. There's no depth. And I'm not going for 100%. If I see all those little collectibles, I'll, I'll get them, but I'm not going to go bending over backwards to get them. Hold it right there. 
What? What's the matter? That ledge is pretty high. Can you make it? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Well, you, you forgot on the first game, don't I? Lots of help you are. Alright, oh, tell you what. Nab that new over there and jump, then jump again while you're in mid-air. That ought to get you high enough. You mean, do a double jump? I know about those. That's so, yeah. Well, I'll show you what you've got. Hot shot, hot shot, slot, pot, whatever. So I know I can do this like floaty jump as well. And if you hadn't noticed, there's a pa there's a Pac-Man on a uh, Klonoa's hat. In 100% in this game, like folly is a challenge, like getting all of the diamonds. There's some di diamonds in some pretty, pretty uh, challenging spots. See, the, the, the textures look nice, but the, the Klonoa sprite looks like he's made of paper. So I mean, if you, if you miss diamonds like that, you've got to do the whole level again if you're going for the 100%, like all the collectibles, everything. But I don't know why this game never took off like the Crash Bandicoots and the Spyro the Dragons. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Mm. 
I'm not sure if I want to go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had that converter thing, I would have done the first Klonoa first. I mean, the first Klonoa door to Fentimar was my very first ever attempt at a Let's Play on YouTube, actually. So I didn't have, like, no commentary or nothing. All I had was the a dazzle. So, this is it. Yep. Come on, Klonoa. Use the power door ring on the bell. Well, this bell? Oh. Okay. Wow. What? What's this the bell? That's the spirit bell for priestesses. Only those with enough spiritual power can make it ring. So if you make it ring, you're a you're full priestess. I did it! I did it! Kaka! I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Is it Luna T or L Luna Tia? Luna Tia. Lunatia. We'll say it the way he says it. Alright, we'll save. Status. Let's push R1 and have a look. Sea of Tears. Well, not much to look at there, is there? So, the next place we're going to be going to is Baguji Island. I mean, should we do that now, or should I call it a day here? Let's go, let's do it now. Let's do it now. So, this is the dream traveler, eh? Yes, Master Baguji. Baguji, Baguji. Juji, he appeared in this sad sea of tears, just as you foretold. Baguji, the one who said you'd, you'd appear. Pretty cool, huh? Your name is Kanoa, is it? See that large tower? You will find a house within it, a harmony bell. You will find a similar tower and bell in each of the Nadia's four kingdoms. Okay, so we're going to go to four locations, ding the bell, and... Yeah. Okay. This bow, it must be the cause of the chaos before the kingdom. Oddly enough, many people don't seem to notice monsters run amok and priestesses fall ill when they are tainted by the evil. What about Lolo? Well, I... I'm only an apprentice. Dream traveler. Will you help Lolo? 
Well, if we won, we might as well turn the console off now. Hmm. Well, sure, I guess. Okay, so yeah, 21 minutes, I'll call it a day there, and in the next episode, now loading, and we shall do this one, La La Cusha. So yeah, I'm going to call it a day there guys, and I'll see you in part 2, peace, and uh, I'll see you again, bye bye.